Um, what I always try and encourage people to do is at the point of injection to get the core anatomy in the forefront of their mind. Some, and there's a lot to think about at that point, at that moment where you're deciding to put the needle in, but that should be the last thing that goes through, goes through, through your head. And that's the early stages of making the decision, using anatomy to, to inform your decisions, as opposed to just thinking about injection technique. Because sometimes people get too overwhelmed with the, the needle, mm. um, the plunger, um, and the patient's response is a heck of a lot to think about if yeah. you think about in that moment. But the, the last thing should be, well, actually, it's not the last thing, because you should plan your injection first around the anatomy. So where's the artery? Where's the fat pad? What am I likely to, to touch when I'm in the right place? Like often you're aiming for the periosteum. So at the point where you touch the bone, what angle should you be at? And then you, you should be shaping that almost, um, well, it's, na it's navigating, isn't it? So the, as, you, as you're angling the needle in, you're imagining, is it getting closer or further away from the artery I'm trying to avoid with the mm. angle that I'm choosing? Mm. And the more you use that, the more certain you feel. So if you, for example, take the nasolabial fold injection, risky injection, runs facial artery runs in your cheek, dips into the nasolabial fold, and some people like the Loch Ness Monster. Mm. Um, if you're angling down to touch the, the periosteum, but you're angled... For those of you who can't see me on in audio, I'm, I'm pointing slightly up towards, uh, as if I was sliding the needle in, it would be heading towards my the opposite side's cheekbone. At that angle, I'm getting slightly closer to where the where the artery might be meeting um, the nose. So, if I change the angle slightly less, so that so if I keep so that it's now pointing at the mid cheek on the opposite side of my face, I'm going to be slightly safer, mm. and maybe slightly more the other way, I'd be slightly further away from that artery, even more so. So. The angle, when you know where the artery is, you know how your angle of entry mm. affects your proximity to that artery. And that, that's an example of using the anatomy to change your technique slightly. It's tiny changes. It's, it's barely perceptible. But when, when you think about it a lot, it becomes intuitive. I know where the artery is. I know where, where I don't want my needle tip to end. I know what I'm going to touch when, I, when I'm in the right place. Now I go for it with all those thoughts in my mind. I hit the right place. I'm ready to inject after I've aspirated. Um, that's the process you're wanting to get to. When, when your anatomy isn't ironed out and you only know the name of the artery, mm. that's a very uncertain feeling. Yeah. Like it is, you're going into the dark. Mm. Now, obviously, everyone's, we're always, there's always an element of the dark, unfortunately, because you never, every, each individual is different. But the, the more light you can shed on it, the more confident you feel and the more accurate you'll, you'll be. Mm.